Hi everyone, welcome to day 20 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. So without further ado, let's start with the next tip on productivity. And this has to do with emails, especially for those of you who are drowning in emails, who get like huge amounts of emails, either usually or exceptionally during some busy periods or at certain times of the of the year so i will give you some some tips around how you can manage your inbox in those times let's start with the principle some people tend to forget this but going through and answering your emails are also a part of your work emails are not things that you need to deal with on top of your work they are a part of it so treat emails like that and don't check them outside of your work hours in order to be able to disconnect fully from your work uh, while you are off work let's start with the first tip to manage your inbox schedule the email time Personally, I like to schedule my email checking time uh, right before lunch and right after lunch, for instance. Depending on your uh, most productive and least productive hours, choose a time period where you are less productive, where you can focus a bit less and you are more suited to do flex work compared to focus work. And uh, depending on the amount of email that you're you're getting, you can schedule half an hour a day or uh, two times 15 minutes or two times a day, half an hour, half an hour or more. You choose, right? But don't keep checking your email. Other than the email checking time that you, you schedule on your calendar, Keep the notifications off, keep the pop-ups off, keep the sound off that notifies you every time a new email comes so that you can see the whole bunch when you decide to look at your uh, schedule. The second tip is for Outlook users, you can choose uh, in your Outlook settings whether you go automatically to your inbox or to your calendar once the the software is opened. So go to those settings and make sure that once you click on Outlook, your calendar comes up, not your inbox, so that you don't automatically get pulled into the, the email drama, if any is going on. That way you can keep control of your of your day, of your time, of your focus time, Uh, so that you can do something more productive instead of dealing with emails uh, in early hours of the day. Tip number three, if you are in an exceptionally busy period at work or um, if you are receiving dozens of emails, like unusually a lot, consider creating an out-of-office reply that would be sent to the to the sender of the email automatically, where you can say, due to an exceptionally busy period at work, I am not able to respond to my emails very quickly. So um, be notified that you will receive a reply back from me in a few days, something like that. Tip number four, and the last tip. If drafting an email, would take you approximately 30 minutes or longer. Or if you are expecting a lot of back and forth with the correspondence to be able to make things clear, for instance, consider turning that email exchange into a a 15 to 20 minute meeting or, or a shorter phone call. In my generation already, people have stopped making phone calls, but actually taking up the phone and speaking with the person and clarifying things over five minutes is much more productive than writing an email back and forth for hours at end. So please 
remember that you have other options um, instead of email in case those are required. And you can still write down if you need official um, proof that, that a certain appointment was made, a certain agreement was made. Later on, you can put it in the writing and send it as email, but it won't have to uh, take you half an hour or longer. I hope these tips help you. Tomorrow, I'll be back with another tip. And until then, mind your own revisions.